Hello everybody, welcome to another class in programming 8085. Today's program is going to be transfer of a block of n bytes. So we are going to take n numbers which is going to be stored in uh, various locations and we are going to transfer it to 10 different locations. For example, here I am considering 10 numbers. So I am going to transfer this block of 10 numbers to another block. For example, the input I have given in location 1100 starting from 10. So I have values like 10, 20, 30 and so on. My inputs ranges from 1100 to 1109. So there are 10 values. I will be transferring this block. Whole block I will be transferring to some other memory location. For example, in this program I am considering 1200. So numbers from 1100 to 1109 will be moved to 1200 to 1209. So you are moving the whole block, right? This value, this n bytes, so this n can vary, right? In this particular program, I am using mvic comma. I am giving the n value directly in the program itself. So you can change the n value in this particular line, right? So instead of 10, you can change your n value. So it can be 5, it can be 10, it can also be 100. Okay. So one thing I would like to say, if I if I say mvic comma 10h. Okay, then that is going to be 16 in decimal, but I am not going to say 10H here. Since GNU sim also accepts decimal numbers, I am going to give 10 directly. Right, so let us start uh, analyzing the program. So transferring a block of n bytes is the program. I will be transferring 10 numbers one, from one block of memory location to another block of memory location. So I'm going to consider these uh, block of memory location starting from 1100 and the other block starting from 1200. So let us see how this transfer happens. Let's get into the program. The first line says MVIC comma 10. So I'm just saying how many bytes I wanted to transfer. So I will be transferring n blocks. So, or in this case, I am going to transfer 10 blocks. So, I am going to transfer 10 numbers. So, my C register is initialized to 10. Okay, next. I am going to use, for the first time, we are going to be using two memory locations. We will be pointing two memory locations and we are going to access the two memory locations simultaneously. Previously, in all the programs, what we have done, we have used LXI H, 1100, which means LXI H, HL register pair will be pointing to 1100. When I increment HL register pair, I am incrementing the address. 1100 will be incremented to 1101, 1102 and so on. That's what we have seen. So usually I will use LXI so that my HL register will be pointing to a memory address. I will be incrementing or decrementing and accessing the value present in the memory location. For the first time, I am going to use another LXI command where I will be saying LXI D comma 1200 where my DE register pair will be pointing to 1200. So what happens? HL register will be storing 1100. DE register pair will be storing 1200. I will simultaneously keep incrementing both. So when I increment H, INX, H when I do, it becomes 1101. If I, I do IN, INX, D it becomes 1, 2, 0, 1 and so on. I keep incrementing it simultaneously and one value I am going to copy to the other location. Let us see how we are doing. One thing we know that whichever location the HL register pair is pointing to, the value stored in that particular address is your memory. That much I am again uh, reminding you of that because that is your M. Right? So let us see how are we going to move access the other memory location which is pointed by the DE register pair. Let us see how it is done. Start to start with MVIC comma 10 initializing register C with 10. HL register pair LXI H comma 1100. So HL register pair is going to be pointing to 1100. Right. Let me show you the show you how it is done. Right. Here I have my HL register pair. Let's call it as HL register pair. This is what I call it as the DE register pair. I'm going to use LXI command right to say that H register is pointing to 1100 in the beginning. The beginning it is going to point to 1100. At the same time, D register is going to point to 1200. Right? So we are in this line where HL register is going to point to 1100 and D register is going to point to 1200. Line number 5, move A comma M. Right? So what do you mean by move A comma M? Whatever is stored in the memory is going to be moved to the accumulator. So let us say I am going to have something called as my accumulator. I will have my accumulator here. 
right so move a comma m m will be moved to your accumulator what is the value of m since hl register is pointed to double one double zero the contents of double one double zero which is 10 will be the value of my accumulator so 10 is here in my accumulator i am going to use a command called staxd so what does that command do sta is a command used to store store the contents of the accumulator into a memory location so here in stax the memory location is going to be given in the d register pair so stax here will store the contents of the accumulator into the memory location pointed by the d register pair d register pair is now currently pointing to 1200 so i'm going to store the accumulator value into this particular location okay so what i have done successfully i have moved one value the value present in double one double zero i have moved it to one two zero zero using my accumulator yes so that is done now i will increment my x so increment register pair hl register pair and d register pair so inx h will do incrementing the hl register pair inx d will increment the d register pair so now my pointers are here right decrement c so i am done with the first number so i have to do the same thing again for nine other numbers so i am decrementing see when it becomes zero i would have completely transferred all the numbers i will come out of the loop now that c's value is only 19 i am not going to come out of the loop i am going to continue so i will go to line number five again whatever is stored in m so m is nothing but what is pointed by the hl register pair which is 20 so the 20 is going to be stored here stax will transfer the 20 to this location okay so again what i will do i will decrement c then i will do increment of these two register pairs so the value stored here 30 will move to the accumulator from accumulator it is going to be moved back to this particular location and so on and so forth so what we would have done eventually we would have moved the contents of double one double zero to double one zero nine so starting from double one double zero to double one zero nine, I would have moved the contents of the HL register pair into the contents of the D register pair, which is going to start from one two zero zero and end at one two zero nine. Right? So it's a very very simple program. I'm going to use my accumulator. Right? How am I accessing these values? I'm going to use LXI command. I, I have two pointers. One is going to be your H, my HL register pair pointing to double one double zero, and another pointer will be D register pair pointing to one two zero zero. To access the value present in double one double zero, I'm using memory, and to store the value from the accumulator into the memory location one two zero zero, I'm using STAX command. Yes, it's a very very simple program. The thing is, we are going to use a new concept where simultaneously we are handling two blocks of memory. Okay, hope you have understood this program. With the same concept, we have another program which is also your lab program. That program is called as transfer a block of n numbers but in reverse order. Right? Since it's going to use the same logic, so let us also see that program now. It's going to be transfer a block of n numbers but we are going to transfer it in the reverse order. So only difference there is instead of in the previous program if you remember we have actually said hl register will be pointing to double one double zero and d register will be pointing to one two zero zero that was the previous program okay this is the reverse since it is a reverse order i'm going to make my hl register point to double one zero nine okay and from nine i'm going to transfer it to one two zero zero from eight i'm going to transfer to one two zero one i'm going to do the transfer in the reverse order for which I will be incrementing my D register pair, but I will be decrementing my HL register pair. I will have DCXH and INXD. Last time we had INXH and INXD. This time we are going to decrement H and increment D. Okay, so let us see how it uh, it is actually. Let us try and pictureize it. So what am I doing is I am having this as my memory location, but my HL register will first be pointing to double one double zero. This will be the value of my memory. So what I will do is this value. So let us say this is what I have in the beginning. I have two uh, memory locations. I have to transfer it, but I don't want to transfer it like we did the last time. I don't want 10, 20 here. Instead, I want 100. Okay, 100 here, 90 here, 80, 70 and so on. So how will I do? First, my HL register pair will be pointing to double one zero nine. So my M, M value will be hundred, right? So I will be doing move A comma M. So M value will be hundred. It will be moved to my accumulator. My accumulator value is hundred now. Yes, that has to be transferred using STAX command. I am going to transfer that value from accumulator STA accumulator value to the 
when we location pointed by de register pair so my 100 will come here so then what i will do i will decrement my hl register pair which will come to 1108 i will increment my de register pair where my address here is going to be 1201 again i will read the value that value is going to be 90 i transfer that value using stax here so what i will be doing i will have to Whatever values I had there, I am actually transferring them, but I am transferring them in the reverse order, like this, right? 100, 90, 80, 70, 60, 40, and so on. This is my transfer a block of numbers in reverse order. Okay, so what two changes I am doing here from the previous program is first of all, I am initializing HL register pair in starting from 1109. That is the first change I am doing. Second change is I will be decrementing H. Instead of incrementing HL register pair, I will be decrementing the HL register pair here. Yes, hope this program is easy for you. So, another very important thing I would like to specify here, since I have MVI C, 10, I have decided that I am going to move 10 numbers. My N value is 10. So, this is the program I have written. Okay, if I have only 5 numbers, so let us say if I only have five numbers, then I'll have to start it from double one zero four. LXI H comma double one zero four will be the address because I am only expecting five numbers to be there. So double one zero four, double one zero three, double one zero two, double one zero one, and double one double zero. So these will be my five numbers. So accordingly, you will have to change this line number three. Depending the value of n, you will have to change the line number three. I hope it is clear we have seen discussed two programs today one is transfer a block of n numbers and second program was transfer a block of n numbers in reverse order okay so that's it thank you